What's good, everybody? It's your boy. O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again. With another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Guys, today I, I'm talking about I'm talking about this struggle model again. And shout out to Brother Keith. He he's the one that alerted me to her in the email earlier. I saw it and I forgot. But remember there was a chick who said that if you don't buy her kids McDonald's, you're not gonna get the draws. Okay. And I did that video yesterday. So for those of you who need to be reminded, she's a part of this podcast and she made this statement, it's on World Star Hip Hop. And in fact, what I wanna do now, let's go ahead and play that clip so you can get reminded of who I'm talking about and then we'll go from there. From a man's perspective, tell me if this is just way out of pocket. And this is why we talking prenuptials and shit. On the first date, I had to get my daughter something to eat before he took me out. So I was like, can you run me by the McDonald's real quick because I'm running behind, woo woo. We get to McDonald's, all she got was her classic, a milkshake, four piece nugget, and a small fry. When the when the lady at the window asked for the bread. <laughs> He's like, where's that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you said run me through yeah. McDonald's real quick so we can, yeah, nigga, you gonna pay for it. McDonald's, I'm sorry, okay, okay, I think that's the problem Already, right that was now. the first problem. That ain't no problem. At that, that moment. That's your problem. Look, and it was at that <laughs> moment, now I had the you bread. You paid for the And I even asked him, did he want anything? But look, it was at that moment that I knew you were never getting this pussy. Because he ain't paid for your daughter food? Fuck you on the first okay, date. Okay, so honestly, honestly, I ain't gonna lie to you. My boss you was here have, knew yeah. I was having a sleepover for my daughter. He was like, oh, that's what you know. I'll order her pizza. That's why most of relationships, they cheat but on like, you. No, that's why most not. relationships, they cheat on you with somebody at work. Because of shit like that. No, no, I'm going to pay for the daughter. Yeah, I'm going to pay for all that. And I'm pretty sure no, he, he was was some like, young pussy. What do no, you mean? No, no, well, no, you were no, paying I'm for it. You wouldn't have to be looking to him. I was thinking about the time, but I'm going to tell you what No, I'm just saying how to get with you. I get what you're saying. I will fuck your boss up. All right, so you heard what she had to say. All right? Now, after she came up with that clip, I think what happened is a lot of brothers went over to her Instagram page and started roasting her ass up, all right? It, it went on World Star Hip Hop and dudes was roasting her in the comments over there. People, some, people probably found out who she was and they were roasting her up over there. So then she posts this screenshot and I will post it here. Take music. I could really make a nigga take me to the bank as a first date if that's what I chose to do. Go off though. That that was yesterday. And you know, I, I want to talk about this because delusion is delusion is grandeur. You know, it, it's grandeur. It's it's doing a lot. Why is delusion grandeur? It's grandeur because you're the person that's complaining about that you couldn't even get a nigga to buy your kid. A damn McDonald's. $5. Okay. So what are we really talking about here? Let's peel this back. Peel the onion layers back, guys. We're dealing with one of two things. Either she can get somebody to take her and pay for McDonald's or to the bank on the first date. Or is it that the guys that she would like that won't pay her any attention? That's probably what we're talking about here. Because you are a single mom, according to you. You probably never been married. You're probably single. You're probably doing whatever you can to make money because again, you're lacking talent, which is obvious because you're out there booty modeling. So the guys that you find attractive are the guys that you would like to deal with. What that shows me is they don't take pay you any attention. They don't take you that serious. Now, ugly guys like me who might want to sniff at that booty for a, a few cheeseburgers, 
yeah i mean like we'll pay that i mean like you know are the fat guy or something like that with no kneecaps the ashy guy you know the guy that seems you know bass in the in, in the in the back of the choir that ain't had a date in 10 years okay you can get him to take you to you know the bank on the first date but you don't really like him you're not interested in him are there some guys that will you know you know you take to the first uh, uh, first day on the bank if they're gonna smash from the back or something like that then okay then then you have that but the problem is struggle model the guys that you think that are that are important you can't get because what what it tells me is there's nothing different about you than the rest of the other struggle IG models out there. Now, I know that will make you mad. I know that you're mad, but it's not my fault. It, it's truly not my fault. I, I know that you're mad. If you listen to this, I know that you're mad. It's not my fault. And that's what a lot of you got, ladies do. You guys are getting out here, you're sounding up, you're wearing these plastic stripper um, stiletto shoes. You know, you, you think that that makes you look good or it makes you look different. You're on a struggle podcast. Nobody listens. Well, the guys are pretty good, I'm sure, but they probably don't listen to you. And, you know, you just don't have a lot of opportunities because you don't have a lot of skill sets there. That's just what it is. So, you don't have anything to offer anybody outside of what you look like. And obviously you don't, you don't look that good to some people if you can't even get a cheeseburger. So then you go around acting as if you are more than what you're not. This is what a lot of sisters do. A lot of sisters go out there with a lot of false confidence, you know, like, you know, acting as if you have things figured out. You don't, your life's in shambles. We all know it. All right, not all sisters, but you know, there's a there, there's a great many of you who are pretending that everything is fine and it's not. We know. Pretending to be happy when you're not, pretending to have things figured out, you don't. And you you lie to yourself about things in a that just doesn't exist, you know, like like I'm independent, I gotta take care of myself. But then you're always asking guys for money or for stuff. Oh, I'm financially, I'm financially fit. I'm fine. No, no, you're not. Okay. You, you, you don't plan for these things. You don't have a plan for yourself or for tomorrow. You're, you know, you don't have a plan for five years on the line. You just don't, you don't have any of this stuff figured out. And guys know this. We're not dumb. Like we know that you don't know what you're talking about. The thing about it is for most of us, as black men. When you ladies say this stuff, it, let's just be honest. We, we just don't listen to it. We just don't. The reason why is because we know that 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 you know two or three weeks later, when you know you completely change emotions, you're gonna be back doing what you've been doing, which is nothing. For many, not all of you, there's some things you have figured out. But for those that are like her, nobody takes you serious. So you can get on here and lie and act like you're not butthurt and act like you're not mad about you to get those shoes for your kids and act like, you know, your value is not what it is, where it's at because it's not where you want it to be. And you can lie all the time. But, but, but we know the real. Brothers know the real. And it's going to come to a point where you're going to have to stop all that fronting. MC Breed had a song called Ain't No Future in Your Fronting. You know, you act like people can't pull through that wall. We, we know that you're sailing up. Everybody knows this. And this is why a lot of black men just be like, Dave Music! Yeah, man, I ain't even tripping off her. Don't even take her that serious. I don't even take you. The guys can't take you serious. They just can't. I know. I don't. Well, guys, it's your boy. Oh, Shady Jackson. Back at it again. With another episode of The Celebrity Jump. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Guys, thank you for your support on the channel. 
Thank you for all of that. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at an all-time high. Check out the Patreon, guys. Check out the Black Mint or Perfect T-shirts. I'm out.